So here's a small dedication to the country uh, with the UAV which I've developed. So basically this is a semi-autonomous UAV uh, which is used for aerial mapping and high order uh, AI tech. So we all know that dream is something which doesn't come in your sleep, but it is that something which doesn't let you sleep. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Rohit, Rohit Deh, and today I would be sharing with you all the spark that keeps me flying. So we all know that uh, ideas don't come just, just from anywhere. Giving a small example in starting, I have gone to various competitions uh, in our country and also uh, in international level. Saying about a very young kid, uh, I had uh, met him in, in a science exhibition which was conducted by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. It's called the Ignite. So this competition uh, brings out ideas of uh, young children uh, into the reality. So this young man, uh, he came up with a stapler, just a stapler and a paper. And that was his innovation. Do you guys want to know what the innovation was? So this guy actually has a parent who used to work as a clerk uh, in, in a government organization. So his work was just to staple all the papers down. So this young man, what he has done is he has noticed his father doing it. And what he has done is he has taken the pin stack. We all know the staple has a pin stack. He has taken this pin stack painted the last but one pin with the permanent marker and kept it in the stapler. So whenever anyone is going to staple around, they will notice that the, the color of the pin comes into play. And that will indicate that there is only one pin left in the stack. So that, my friend, is innovation. And a small kid can represent a new idea which can come into play. So today's topic, as I said, is the spark which keeps me flying. So this will be a journey of a uh, journey of mine, basically, how I had started uh, my career and my innovation in the field of MAVs, UAVs, and also drones. Well, drone is an American terminology. First, to clear it out, UAV is an unmanned aerial system. So that is basically called as drones by the Americans, and that's how it has moved to our country. So the journey of mine starts like this. Uh, when I was uh, probably in the age of five or six, uh, I first got fascinated by seeing birds fly. Maybe that is the first inspiration which I should talk about that led me to this stage, what you see right now. So how does this bird fly was the first question which got me the spark and to understand that this is the subject which I want to work on in my future. So we all have noticed that, you know, birds fly in a similar, uh, you know, characteristics, how we swim. So birds fly in a fluid called air and we swim in a fluid called water. So we basically push water back, creating the force to push ourselves forward. And similar thing happens with the bird, with the bird also. Understanding all this, I started to work on small paper planes. And that was the starting of my journey to understand uh, simple aerodynamics in that age. So for example, when I was a kid, I just, out of curiosity, I just took a small paper, understood the dynamics, and just threw it off like this. So we all know that papers don't fly just like that, unless you create a dynamic fold, which I was a, I was a kid. I never understood what that was. Keeping this in mind, I slowly started learning the dynamics. Of course, I was a young kid, so I couldn't understand uh, big theories or uh, big equations. As my dad being an information scientist, uh, he, he has access to information throughout the globe. I used to ask him for giving me few basic informations or basic journals to read about how uh, you know, Bernoulli's theorem came into play and how the equations uh, have to be developed. Keeping all this in mind, my next stage was to understand how when a paper plane is folded into a specified shape can glide through air. Because it doesn't happen with anything else, right? You just throw a paper, it's not going to fly. But when you fold a paper into a specified dimension, of course it flies. So this curiosity is basically a concept which I believe is ah, aha, and haha effect. So what is this ah, aha, and haha effect? Ah is the question that is created. It is the question mark which comes in your head. And haha is 
basically to understand how to find the solution of the question that is arrived and haha is of course the joy which you understand and you find the solution to keeping all this in mind i slowly started uh, developing small model planes of course i believe success cannot be achieved at the first first attempt there were a lot of uh, hurdles in in my uh, career also where i i used to you know make big planes of my self design and they never took off so keeping all this in mind i used to be focused that i wanted to see and i wanted to understand the joy of flying the flying concept is something noble which was handed over to us by our ancestors uh, the greek mythology like leonardo da vinci he was the first person to realize that there would be flying objects which which would be coming up in our future of course he had done a lot of uh, you know paintings and analytic drawings about uh, you know human figures flying and that was the generation uh, where people understood that these concepts would come in the future and as being a teenager i also tried to understand how can this concept be coming into reality with modern technologies in future as the days move on and i was probably in my class 6 which i built my first rc airplane uh, or a radio control airplane which was with the unique feature uh, i think uh, i'll show that so this is the first airplane which i built again it's a self design self made rc airplane uh, which uh, did the first flight way back then and now it's an antique uh, aircraft to me this has a lot of memories uh, of my childhood where it in includes lot of r&d lot of hard work lot of passion and yes the excitement to see the reality of something flying as the days moved on i asked my dad and i told him that dad i want to become a pilot because i want to fly in the blue sky he always told me that rohit be positive do whatever you like and do it in an honest way and of course keeping all his vital points and being the backbone of my research and development i moved on and i started i wanted to learn flying but as the days moved on i understood that flying an airplane is just a fixed job you cannot do something different out of it and i as my parents always tell i am a naughty kid you know i i don't do things this way but i do it this way and that's the curiosity which uh, makes me think in a different way for every different thing so then i understood that of course being a pilot will fulfill your joy of flying but it will not give you the freedom to do something different and why i wanted to be a pilot is because i wanted to build a plane and fly it on my own i didn't want anyone else to fly it so that was the goal in me to uh, you know fly in the sky which yes i have fulfilled going forward i would like to tell you all that you know success is something which just doesn't come like that our main priority is to do a lot of hard work have a positive aim and go through the aim in my case i would say the journey of learning was very hard i had to struggle a lot to understand the dynamics in my age but i never stopped this kept on moving and in future uh, i went to various national level competitions with the research and development which i did i'll probably show you that so this is my first innovation uh, i hope you all have seen helicopters right right so helicopters you might have noticed the propellers are on the top right so that is a convectional helicopters which we all might have seen when i understood and i i studied about helicopters i came to know that they have a lot of efficiency factor which plays in them and it is not a very effective mode of transportation of course it has a blessing to hover and transport uh, you know passengers or cargo but the efficiency factor for such uh, configurations are very bad and keeping this in mind you might have seen helicopters in the static mode you'll find the you know blades uh, bending down because there's a huge mass which is uh, hanging the blades down and when they are rotated in an high rpm you'll see the blades going top and due to gravitational force when you have the mass push pushing the vehicle down there is a lot of drag which plays in in play so keeping this in mind i tried to understand and then i came 
with the concept called the inverted rotor which was appreciated uh, all over the globe you can say and i was awarded uh, by nasa as the young scientist of 2015 and also i was awarded at the presidential home uh, by Sri uh, Pranam Mukherjee, who was the serving president of uh, India and got the Young Scientist Award of India. Keeping all this in mind, this is way back in 2013, and uh, this is basically a total autonomous UAV, uh, which you can see uh, it functions with an autopilot, which was developed, uh, self made, and developed by me, and also flies uh, about 45 minutes. So, let me tell you how it is different from. Uh, from other uh, UAVs which play here. As you can see, the rotors at the bottom. So, for example, you and your father are traveling on a motorcycle. So, the amount of uh, airflow which your father is going to have is higher compared to you because your father is blocking the airflow. So, keep that in mind when you have a rotor on the top, on the fuselage. So, what previously scientists have done is they have huge rotors to compensate that. In our case, we have smaller rotors which don't have the drag generated and as well as the efficiency is highly uh, advanced in, in this design and this was mathematically and practically proved. Moving forward, this was the final design which is being used and uh, is being respected by all the scientists uh, in the field of UAV and also keeping in mind that this is, this is a very functional UAV and the highest efficiency UAV in this class. And this is the place uh, at Kennedy Space Center where I was awarded as the Young Scientist of 2015. And also uh, it is known the place where uh, Dr. Kalpana Chavla, the first American Indian woman who was awarded, also was awarded at the same place. Moving ahead with the innovation sector, as I said that uh, the journey of innovation is just not something which comes uh, all of a sudden. You'll have to analyze your problems and then make it effective and therefore I came up with a new design uh, which is called the VTOL or Vertical Takeoff Landing Aircraft which is again a UAV of the same kind. So how did I come up to this journey? I had to understand the, uh, the dynamics and the problems with our uh, present uh, day society and then have moved on to such innovations like this. So keeping all this in mind, I would like to say that uh, as uh, uh, my previous speaker told that there are a lot of problems which are being coming in the farmer uh, industry. So we might have seen farmers getting affected due to the pest there. So we have developed a UAV which can do the pesticide spraying. So these UAVs are capable of taking a payload of 5.5 kg and can be extended in, in future and also can be uh, used as an autonomous uh, pesticide spraying and as well as, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's basically called microscopic farming understanding. This is basically going to understand the health of the crop and give us a wide uh, idea and wide uh, information so that the farmers can use this. So the farmers don't have to go spray in the farm but the UAV is going to do all the job. Well yes, these are, these are basically applications which we can use in our present uh, day generation. As talking about the VTOL or the vertical takeoff landing configuration, this is one of my latest development. So as you can see, you can find the helicopter version as well as a fixed wing version. So this is basically a hybrid of it. And this is basically going to be used for organ transportation. We all have seen that in our latest generation, that organ transportation is a very vital application which is taking over. So these vehicles, uh, as we all know, helicopters do fly at a slower rate and airplanes can fly at a very uh, fast rate. So we know that airplanes will travel at a higher uh, uh, distance compared to a helicopter. So this vehicle is a hybrid of it where uh, this vehicle can take off like a helicopter and then go into a transition motion like a uh, like an airplane. So this vehicle would be ideal for uh, doing high speed deliveries or even for any uh, you can say like uh, uh, mass uh, delivery system where you can use it like rescue and search missions uh, you can use it for uh, dropping high uh, first aid box in the uh, in the disaster oriented locations and also as i said for organ transportation the vehicle is equipped with high autopilot system where it can take uh, the data from 
point one to point B and fly in a uh, straight manner at a high speed. And also, again, I, I would like to say that this idea is a very noble idea, and uh, this has not been done previously. And I would like to dedicate this work to the country. And saying with this, uh, I would like to conclude that I am coming in the picture with Make in India and Made in India, where most of my equipments, which uh, you have seen, are self-made, self-designed, and uh, uh, are totally made in India, which I would like to uh, give to our country and try to help them in the sector of unmanned aerial systems. Thank you.